It really is stunning. They are finding things in Pompeii that have lain undiscovered for 2,000 years, including this amazing mural. And you won't believe this. They even found a horse saddled up as if it was ready to help its owner escape or try and rescue people. And listen to this. They're uncovering this history using 21st century technology. The volcano Vesuvius was a Roman time bomb. When it detonated, it brought horror to the city in its shadow. At 12 noon, disaster struck. A massive explosion of molten rock flying into the air like a pine tree, one witness said. History was written, but many questions left unanswered. Now modern science, making amazing new finds, is helping to explain what happened when that volcano fire, imagined here in the movie Pompeii, poured down from the sky. It fell here upon the horrified people of Pompeii, pumice and burning ash raining down on this city. It must have seemed like the end of the world. Pompeii was destroyed, its streets, its grand houses, and its people buried beneath an avalanche of ash. Everything was covered with this ash. 2,000 years later, Chief Archaeologist Massimo Asana and his team are digging out a vast and previously unexplored section of the city. Archaeology used to be about patience and painstaking digging by hand. It still is, but now scientists here are also using 21st century technology to solve Pompeii's first century secrets. We are in the era of digitalization, laser scanning, 3D reconstruction, and uh, of course also drone. This is the area del giardino. The excavated city offers a snapshot of Roman existence. An incredible way to touch the past and the daily life of the Pompeian in the first century AD. From luxurious villas to the basics of life. It's a bread. Bread. And even ancient political graffiti campaign sign for the local lawmaker. All the time, they're discovering more. Here, writing with a date, October 17th. Important because it indicates that the eruption happened two months later than has always been thought. In the same building, multiple bodies. But who were they? Now the professor and his team are using the latest techniques to find out more about the victims of the volcano. Like this man, found buried beneath a block of masonry. He tried to escape with a few coins, not, not really a huge amount of money. So we understand the status of this person. Now, for the skeleton, we started also the DNA analysis, and we will know everything about his biography. And here in Rome, another skull and more CSI. Scientists comparing isotopes in the teeth with those from the soil in a small town in Italy. According to tradition, the skull belongs to Pliny. Could this be one of the great Roman heroes, the Admiral Pliny the Elder, who died trying to rescue people from the disaster zone? We should soon have the answer, and perhaps the answer too, to Pompeii's greatest mystery. In total, a thousand bodies have been recovered, but what happened? To everyone else. The population of ancient Pompeii was 30,000. 30,000 people? In, inside the town. They are out there somewhere, says Professor Rosana, buried beneath the ash waiting to be found.